Hi there, Libra. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What are the cards I have to say today? We have Happy Squirrel, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Sword, Seven of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Sword, Three of Cups. All right, so there's something your person is like coming into their own here is what I'm getting, whatever that means. Uh, it's the first thing I'm hearing. They're, they're coming into um, feeling more, more grounded, more capable. Um, there's something they've experienced here. Um, maybe they had some sort of, I'm getting like this... Um, I'm drawn to this nine of swords here. It feels like they had some sort of um, either an epiphany. I'm getting a myriad of things from this nine of swords, like either an epiphany, a nightmare, a dream. There's something that has occurred to your person that has like shocked them. Like, like um, I'm getting, you know, like sitting up in bed with a big realization. It's almost like... um feels a little bit like tower energy like a sudden realization um which is is um gosh changing your person's perspective here this um there's an opportunity for a new beginning here with this um these this ace of pentacle here page of sword like there's an opportunity to restructure something here something your person didn't see before like there's an opportunity to um to gosh rebuild it's like they're they're very they're feeling more grounded now they've had some sort of aha moment um and they're able to overcome obstacles um, with ease is what I'm getting. They have the tools, they have the universe supporting them right now. Um, and it, there's something, uh, uh, there's new energy moving in for your person here. We have the first card out was a happy squirrel. Uh, let's go right. Yeah, Ace of Wands. It's like there's fresh energy here, new vitality. There's some, there's like a realization about something new, a new beginning, and, and and overcoming obstacles, and you know, even saying the word obstacle, it's like, um, what's the? <clears throat> it's interesting. I'm getting the question, what, what is the opposite of obstacle? Um, uh, let's see. An obstacle is like a barrier, but yet, um. If there's no obstacles, then it's like um, clean and green, like um, smooth sailing here, like being like free, like setting things free is what I'm getting or, or something overcoming a mindset or something. Let's keep going here. There's definitely a new a new beginning here. Yeah, thinking things differently. We have the world. It's like completing a cycle, having an aha moment, like realizing that it's time um, for new beginnings. It's time to uh, clear. I'm getting clear the path here with this Page of Swords. You know, Page of Swords has the ability um, to begin again, to think clearly. You know, Page of Swords for me is very intelligent, very eager to learn more, um, has these bright ideas, and they also have the ability to manifest those bright ideas. You know, if they have an idea, if they have a wish, they have the ability to make it come true here. Page of Swords, Nine of Cups is like the, um, what do they say about the Nine of Cups? Like wish fulfillment. It's like they know how to make their dreams come true now. You know, some things that they worried about, maybe some obstacles that held them back before are being cleansed, cleared, overcome is what I'm getting. Even if it's challenging, it's it's bringing in a harmony here. Now the Six of Pentacles we have here twice. It's There's some sort of grounded, balanced, harmonious energy moving in here it's like a um an aha moment something was revealed to your person i feel like it was in a dream or some sort of um some sort of 
something was revealed to them. Knight of Swords. And it shows them how to take that action. Like the idea. How to take action to make that dream come true here. To bring in that balanced energy. I feel like your person is feeling way more grounded. Um, more independent. More um, able to find that freedom here. We got the Nine of Pentacles here. So Nine of Pentacles has, you know... Um, a confidence. Nine of Pentacles knows what they want. Nine of Pentacles does not let anyone get in the way of where they want to go and where they're meant to be here. Um, you know, we got a lot of nines here. Nine of Pentacles, uh, the Nine of Cups, Nine of Sword. It's like nines are like pushing through, getting through to the other side. Um, figuring things out, harmonizing, um, regaining balance here. Tower. Yeah, I was feeling that tower energy from this Nine of Sword in the beginning. It's, it's like some sort of revelation that brings in a balance, brings in harmony. Um, this realization, this um, dream, there's some like aha moment here that settles things. It brings in a harmony. Yeah, it, it helps your person return to you here. Like you are like home to your person. Six of Cups. It's like, you know, dreaming. There's there's romance here. There's love here. And it's, it's genuine. It's not, um, it's genuine love. And like love requires nothing more than just loving each other, respecting each other. You know, this, your person has fond memories of the past with you, and they want to make more memories with you. And and for whatever reason, um, the two of you um, grew apart or separated or, or lacked a, a, a depth in communication. But now there's a big realization that everything must change here. King of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, there's a... There's new thinking patterns, new thought patterns, new ways of of looking at life. There's like, I feel like it's more of a um, looking for the positive, like a silver lining. There's a silver lining here um, coming through here is what I'm getting. Three of cups, six of swords. Yeah, your person wants to connect with you. They want to move in your direction here. Um, bottom of this deck showed itself to me. You have the chariot. So it's like... Moving forward, where things were stationary, um, it's time to get up and move, is what I'm getting here. All right, should we look at the bottom of this deck? Might as well look at the bottom of this deck while we're at it here. Nine of Cups, yeah. So it's like that wish fulfillment. They realize how to uh, make that dream come true. You know, it's it's like your dreams, your person's dreams. They're dreams of um, building a future with you, a, a new beginning. Let's cut it because we had this twice. Eight of Swords here. And it's interesting. I don't read reversals, but coming in upside down, I feel like your person thought a certain way for quite a while and then they realized like wait a minute I have the ability to um sail over anything person place thing that um tells me you know could be internal also you know eight of swords can be just stuck in your own mind here and that's where I feel like your person was stuck in a loop of their mind for quite a while and now they're they're the universe is showing them how to overcome those self-limiting uh, fears or obstacles that held them back from you. Okay, let's close with our feather message. We have the turkey. Honor your own time of harvest. Offer your gifts and blessings as service to the greater good. Yeah, there's something, there's like new energy coming in. But let's read the bottom of the deck. They're saying let's um, close with the bottom of the deck. Um, we have the Robin. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. Peace be with you. Bye now.